Hello my friends, welcome back to another painting. Today I am working on a 12 by 12 inch canvas and I am using the exact same colors today as I did in my last video. I loved the way the colors worked together. They created such gorgeous lacing effects and cells and it was throughout the whole entire painting. So I wanted to see what it would look like as a feather. So swiping it out instead of using the Dutch pour method. So that's what I'm doing today. This video might be coming out a little bit late today just because I was spring cleaning and everything. It just took all day. <laughs> so I hope that's all right. I hope soon that I can get into a very consistent schedule with my posting my videos. Right now everything is kind of hectic and I'm unorganized and this is, this is me, but I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> so um, yeah, please be patient with me. I would appreciate that so very much. So again, using the same colors and I layer them exactly the same. I'm using the same violet base that is going to dry super dark. So again, you want to lay down the white first in order to see all the beautiful colors you have. And so they don't just darken and kind of blend in with the background. If you're new here, I don't use any additives in my paint mixture. I just use paint and water mixed to consistency. And this consistency is usually very fluid and on the thinner side, but not so thin that the paint um, separates and, you know, doesn't hold together. I like to let people know that you can create gorgeous pieces without anything crazy, any crazy pouring mediums or silicone oil or this or that. You can do beautiful things with just paint and water. And I use mainly Artist Loft and Liquitex Basics at the moment. It's not the best of the best, but it is good enough that the the bonds that hold the paint together can withstand a fair amount of water so you can get it to be very fluid and easier to work with. These are things that I didn't really know going into pore painting but then again I was using craft paints and paints of lesser quality when I first started so that's when you start to run into problems with drying like cracking and crazing so if you can invest in better paint, absolutely do it. But if you're a beginner and you just want to experiment and try it out, see if you like it, totally try the craft paint. It's, it's where a lot of people start. And I just wouldn't recommend that you put more than 30% water in your uh, mixture. Other than that, just go for it. I do believe a uh, left-brained artist on YouTube has a video on how to mix craft paint and what ratios to use and all that. So I will link his channel in the description. He has so much information on his channel, so I would recommend you watch him anyway. So anyway, um, you can see that I got really beautiful details and the gorgeous lacing of gold over all those colors again and I don't know what it is but these colors just work together so good and they create beautiful beautiful details and effects so I'm sorry that I did the same color palette twice in a row but I have no regrets so I'll just fix some things up and we will get right into the close-up and here it is I love the gold lacing, of course, that's a given, and how it flows out and it's so airy near the end. It feels like there's so much texture. I don't entirely like those white cells right there, but that's okay. I love everything else about it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know. Please do subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. I would appreciate it so very much. So, thank you guys for watching.
I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.